It, it is the wrong word, I think. We just need to be aware and, and deal with it. Um, Helen, we, we have existed with mutually assured destruction for uh, many decades, but that does mean that your adversary needs to know the consequences of action. Do you imagine that at present the Russians have been informed what will be the consequences of using a tactical nuclear weapon? I, I, have, uh, have, I don't want to cast aspersions on what they do or don't know. All I can say is that um, this is a threat to humanity mm -hmm. and to the planet and nobody should be even threatening or using nuclear weapons and, you know, there should be some sense, a veil should be lifted and really everyone should think about the implications. And um, unfortunately, you know, as we said, the United States is the only country to have used an uh, atomic weapon and they don't have a historical record of pulling back from confrontation and th this is a very big issue. Um, so let's just hope that sense prevails and, you know, everything that can be done through the media and so on to, to talk this down and to say, you know, there is a solution to this. We need to sit down, we need to negotiate, we need to discuss um, different points of view. And you have to find a solution that respects the sovereignty, including of small, small states. That was very much the agenda of Cuba, um, but also that, that, that deals with the root causes of these conflicts. Mm. Um, Jonathan, how optimistic are you? feeling about this situation at the moment, the one we have today? Well, I'm not at all optimistic because I think <clears throat> that there's no negotiation, as I mentioned just now. There's no sense that either side is willing to compromise. Negotiations aren't going to start. Putin doesn't want them now. Ukrainians don't want them. And we're really seeing gradual escalation of more and more territory being taken and then retaken by the other side. Terrible displacement of people. Millions of people have lost their homes. And uh, there's no positive end in sight. It's really gloomy. We're, we're certainly in a situation that I never imagined we would be in, which is that effectively NATO is fighting a proxy war with Russia, with, yes, with Russia. Because, uh, I mean, Russian soldiers are being killed at the moment with Western weapons, which is an extraordinary situation to begin with. It's a proxy war in which the, the aim of people in the West, many people in the West, and they've said so publicly, is to topple Putin. They were trying to interfere in the internal affairs of another country. In the 62 Cuban crisis, there was no sense in which Kennedy was saying we've got to topple Khrushchev and get him out of power. They were just trying to deal with the situation on the ground. And, and I think that's really uh, d difficult because, uh, in, in today's terms, because... I mean, Putin's not going to be overthrown, and if he was possibly more hardline, people would come in in his place. So we shouldn't be trying to mess about with internal Russian politics.